Your Eminence, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let me start by thanking Mike and Drake for their very kind words of introduction and no visit uh, to the U.S., no visit, no visit uh, to New York uh, is ever, ever complete without a gathering of the dynamic Greek-American community of this wonderful city. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for acting, uh, as Drake said, as a very stable and robust bridge between our two countries. And today is uh, another opportunity to honor distinguished uh, members uh, of the Greek American community. I place particular emphasis in these events because I feel it is my obligation uh, our obligation to recognize the very special work that is being done in the Greek American community to keep these strong bonds alive and powerful. At a time when the world is faced with very complicated global challenges, Greece uh, uh, is a pillar of stability and prosperity in a very turbulent part of the world. And I place particular emphasis on the strategic depth of the relationship that Greece has with the United States. Uh, a strategic relationship that uh, was exemplified probably at the highest level when I had the unique uh, privilege uh, of uh, addressing the joint session of Congress in 2022. It was an opportunity for me to speak about the enduring bonds between our two countries. Um, to highlight our common democratic tradition, to speak a little bit about the challenges that our modern democracies are facing in this era of polarization, but also probably of, um, of this speech what I remember the most was the pride in the galleries when I saw your faces, the faces of the Greek American community watching the Prime Minister of Greece addressing the legislative body of the United States. For the first time in our history. We are working to make this relationship as strong as it can possibly be. And I know we have, uh, we have elections in the United States, and I can assure you that uh, whoever um, uh, is elected, whoever the American people choose to uh, represent them to the highest office, this relationship will go from strength to strength because it is in the mutual interest of our two countries to do so. Greece is playing uh, a pivotal role in the Eastern Mediterranean, trying in spite of the difficulties to normalize uh, our relationship with Turkey, being an honest broker and talking to all the involved parties in order to try to resolve this uh, emerging crisis in the Middle East. We all have an interest to work towards de-escalation and to ensure that this does not become a regional war. But at the same time, we will continue to build the foundations of our own country as a prosperous and democratic society. And if the first four years of our mandate were all about stabilizing the country, recognizing that we have left the difficult years of the crisis behind us, putting our public finances uh, into, uh, into order, returning to the world of normal European countries, the next four years are about making a great leap towards the future, achieving real convergence with the European Union, addressing the underlying problems that have held us back um, uh, for many, many years, ensuring that the economy will continue to grow at a significantly faster pace than uh, the rest of uh, Europe, that we will continue to attract foreign direct uh, investment, that we will continue to create jobs, that we will raise uh, the living standards, uh, improve wages, and, and as, as Drake said, encourage more Greeks who left Greece during the difficult years of the crisis to return. Encourage more Greek Americans, if not to return, but to take a keener interest uh, in, in our affairs, to invest in Greece, to spend more time in Greece, to send your kids um, uh, to Greece, to build the people-to-people -people foundations uh, between, our, uh, between our two uh, countries. And I'm very optimistic uh, about this project. Uh, we have three years ahead of us. 
uh, without any uh, elections. We are a strong government with uh, a comfortable uh, parliamentary majority. And uh, I feel that the mandate that I have received from the Greek people is a mandate of bold change. I am not interested in simply managing the affairs of the state. I am interested in making sure that Greece becomes the country it can actually be a protagonist and not a laggard within the European Union, a prosperous democratic society that offers equal opportunity to everyone. This is my ambition and we want, we want you, we want the Greek American community to be part uh, of this project. You know that uh, for the first time uh, uh, in, the, in the recent uh, European elections we did something that was unthinkable. We allowed people to mail in their votes uh, and you don't have to return to Greece or to show up at the consulate in order to vote. There was a European election. I am sure that we will be able to do it again for the national elections. I do need to point out that we need 200 votes in Parliament in order to get, um, uh, to, get to that uh, threshold. But I'm sure that looking at the success and the ability of the state to organize this mail-in system, no one will actually refuse. Um, uh, granting the right uh, for those who live abroad to actually vote without having to either visit the embassy or the consulate or uh, return into Greece as, as was the case. And it is, I think, important. It is important for um, uh, those who have a right um, to vote in Greece to be active uh, in the affairs of the state. I don't believe uh, the argument that uh, if that were to happen, and it will happen, we will export the polarization of Greece uh, abroad. No, I think you actually have the capability to look at things from a distance, uh, to look at the big picture, to stay above the petty politics that uh, quite frequently uh, engulf us in uh, senseless uh, you know, discussions that don't talk about the real problems uh, of, of, of Greek people. So I'm very much looking forward to your participation and I would also like you to know that one of our big projects is when it comes to uh, our interactions with our diplomatic missions, our, uh, our, our consulates, to make your life easier. Digital technology will help us uh, in this direction. This is a big project I have uh, for the next three years. We have a new consul general in, uh, in New York. Ifigenia, come. Yeah. You just uh, uh, arrived, what was that, a week ago? A week ago. Uh, a week ago. Well, we send you one of our best. Huh? So, um, uh, uh, and I'm very much looking forward to the work that, uh, uh, that uh, she will do uh, here. And uh, just uh, rest assured that uh, we will do whatever we can to, to make you uh, proud uh, of, our, of, of our homeland and to strengthen uh, these ties. As someone who has spent many years in the U.S., who has seen uh, um, the, the broken promises of various administrations when they spoke about the importance of this relationship, I want to make sure that we do things differently. And I think we've demonstrated that we can actually uh, do that. Uh, and uh, we want you to be part of uh, Greece's success. And I'm sure that you will uh, do exactly that. So thank you so much for your uh, presence. It's a real privilege to be able to see you here, shake your hand.